what I'd like to do now is show you how Mac 2011 users can actually record video over an existing PowerPoint presentation so that you can share this with your student. It's a little antiquated in the way that it's done with the Mac version of PowerPoint and I really you don't want me to get into how I feel about Microsoft and their interactions with Apple but at any rate here's a workaround. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is open the QuickTime player on your computer and all Macs come with this so you can go up here to this search and then you'll just type in QuickTime player that'll find it on your machine it's probably in applications and you can open it I can't do that right now because I'm using it of course to make this recording and so when you do that you're gonna go up to um, the file which will be up here for QuickTime once you've clicked on that and it's gonna um, open up you can click on new recording and you're gonna get this that's going to pop up. I had to take a picture of it because I can't run it at the same time. So it's going to say screen recording. You're going to see a red dot there, which would be for recording. And then you're going to see this drop down window. You need to click on that drop down window once you've done that. Let me just close this out. And you'll see this when you drop down. It's going to be none, and sometimes it's selected there. You want to make sure that it's in the built in microphone, internal microphone. Um, or if you had something else plugged in, it would pick up here. But if you're using your built-in microphone on your laptop, then make sure that's selected so it'll know where it's getting the audio from. Okay, and then you're going to get a window that's going to pop up in the middle of your screen, and it's just going to tell you to click on that when you're ready to start recording, and then you're up. And then, so at that point, it's going to be recording everything that happens on your screen. So of course, now what I could do is I can simply go ahead and start my slideshow. And I'm just going to say record slideshow here. And so now we'd be ready to do the slideshow for the students. So hello world, this is my first video presentation using PowerPoint. Glad that you will watch this. And I can really tell you some reasons why I don't really like PowerPoint and I would suggest that you really use Keynote instead. And so your PowerPoint presentation would be finished. You just exit out of that. And now you've got your PowerPoint presentation, it's done there. Okay, so you've recorded everything, you're ready to stop your recording here. So there'll be a little icon up here that will you can click on to stop, or you can always go back down here to the QuickTime player, and then you can come up here and get it to stop. So I'm going to stop the recording if I was done, and then I can go and actually start trying to export using QuickTime.